Have you noticed that after a long week of a stressful work, we don't feel so well? Uh, we get headache or we have a backache or there is some tension in your neck or in other muscles. There is a reason for that. It's because our mental condition is very closely linked to our health, not only our mental health, but also it's about the body. If you would like to check how much chance do you have of getting a physical illness which is caused by your stress level, stay tuned. Welcome back, it's so nice to see you again. This is Bastian Antonovic and on my 5 Minute Psychology channel I share with you some ideas on how you can use psychology to make your life better, safer, healthier and more pleasant and today Let's talk about stress. As you have already noticed probably on my channel, there are plenty of videos on stress. There is a reason for that, because this is something we all struggle with. And it's not only about our mental state of well-being. Stress is an actual element which can affect our physical health. It can cause numerous illnesses, starting with high blood pressure, which can lead to heart diseases, strokes, uh, stomach ulcers you can get from stress. There are many, many other illnesses, including the big ones like cancer. Isn't it worth it to spend some time and first of all, analyze how likely you are to develop a physical illness which is caused by your mental condition and by your stress level if this is something you find interesting today this is something we are going to do together i'm going to share with you a concept which has been studied and examined by two psychologists and it's called the holmes and ray stress scale or it's also called the social readjustment rating scale and you may think, hey, I think it's not my problem because my life is pretty good. In general, I like my work. I have recently been promoted. I moved to a new, bigger, more comfortable flat. There is nothing to complain about, right? Yes, you could be right. But sometimes we forget that even these events, which we normally describe as positive, they can cause us stress. How is it so? Well, we have to look into the whole definition of stress. And of course, stress is a word which we use for absolutely every negative emotion, negative event in our life, starting with uh, maybe a text message that you receive in the middle of a film in a cinema and uh, ending up on uh, something so tragic like uh, losing your spouse or a life partner. This is why Let's talk first about the definition of stress, all right? In psychology, there is a variety of definitions of stress, but one is widely accepted. The one coined by Richard Lazarus, according to which stress is a condition or feeling experienced when a person perceives that demands exceed the personal and social resources the individual is able to mobilize. Now, in less formal terms, we could say that we feel stressed whenever we feel that things are out of control. Now, to start the evaluation of your current level of stress and of your chances to develop a serious illness because of your mental condition and because of your current level of stress, I want you to take a sheet of paper and something to write with. And I'm going to give you a moment to go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, I will tell you something about the examination itself. Ray carried out a study in 1970s testing the validity of the stress scale as a predictor of illness. The scale was given to two and a half thousand US sailors and they were asked to rate scores of life events over the previous six months. Over the next six months, detailed records were kept of the sailors' health and there was a very strong correlation between stress scale scores and illnesses, which was sufficient to support the hypothesis of a link between life events and illnesses. Now, I hope you're ready. 
So listen, right now I'm going to enumerate important life events and every event will have a life change unit, a particular number I want you to write down on your sheet of paper whenever you hear about an event which happened to you in the last two years I want you to write down the number you will see and hear next to this particular event all right let's start the first one a very important event is the death of a spouse of your husband wife or also the death of a partner you've lived with for many years if this is something that has happened to you within the last two years give yourself 100 points the next one if you have divorced give yourself 73 points if you are in separation with your husband or wife give yourself 65 points if you have been to prison in the last two years give yourself 63 points if you have lost a family member a very dear one to you if they died give yourself 63 points if you have suffered from a personal injury or a serious illness give yourself 53 points now this one will surprise you if you got married within the last two years give yourself 50 points if you have lost your job give yourself 47 points if you have encountered marital reconciliation within the last two years give yourself 45 points if you have retired give yourself 45 points if you have noticed an important change in the health of a family member give yourself 44 points if you have been pregnant within the last two years give yourself 40 points if you've been suffering from sexual difficulties give yourself 39 points if you've had a new family member in the family give yourself 39 points if there has been some business readjustment give yourself 39 points if you have noticed a significant change in your financial condition give yourself 38 points if your close friend has died within the last two years give yourself 37 points if you have changed to a different line of work give yourself 36 points if you have noticed a change in frequency of argument with your spouse or a life partner give yourself 35 points if you have to deal with a major mortgage give yourself 32 points if we are talking about foreclosure of mortgage or loan give yourself 30 points if there has been a change in responsibilities at work it's 29 points if your child has left home within the last two years give yourself 29 points if there is some trouble with your in-laws give yourself 29 points if there has been an outstanding personal achievement in your life give yourself 28 points If your life partner or a spouse has started or finished work give yourself 26 points if you have started or finished school within the last two years give yourself 26 points if there has been a major change in your living conditions doesn't matter if it's a change for the better or for the worse give yourself 25 points if you have changed your personal habits give yourself 24 points if you've had trouble with your boss give yourself 23 points 
if there has been a change in working hours or working conditions, give yourself 20 points. Any change in residence? If yes, give yourself 20 points. If you've changed schools, give yourself 20 points. Has there been a change in recreation? If yes, give yourself 19 points. Perhaps you have noticed a change in church activities, then give yourself 19 points. Or perhaps there has been a change in your social activities, then give yourself 18 points. If you have a minor mortgage or loan, give yourself 17 points. If there has been a change in your sleeping habits, give yourself 16 points. If there has been a change in the number of family reunions, give yourself 15 points. Are there any changes in your eating habits? If yes, give yourself 15 points. Have you been on holidays? If yes, give yourself 13 points. Has there been a major holiday within the last two years? Have you been involved in minor violation of law? If yes, give yourself 11 points. Now I'm going to give you a moment to add up these points, sum them up to see what number you are going to get. And in a second, you are going to see what are your chances of developing a serious illness based on your mental state and based on your level of stress. In the meantime, I will also tell you that this scale is applicable for adults only. So if you're a teenager or a kid, please remember that there is a different scale for you. I hope you have already added up all your points. If your score is below 150 points, you only have a slight risk of illness. If your score is between 150 and 299, your risk of illness is moderate. And if your score is 300 points or more, there is a high risk of a serious illness. I really hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you would like to share and tell us what your result was, please make sure to write it down in the comments. If not, if it's too private for you, feel free to keep it to yourself. I respect that. And I also hope you know what to do next. If you feel that your level of stress and therefore the chances of you getting a serious illness are too high, make sure to seek professional help. Even going to your GP is a first step you may want to take. If you are looking for some ways how to handle your stress, you are already in the right place. Make sure to browse through my videos and I'm absolutely sure you will find something useful for you. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.